Public Defender. The Public Defender is a public servant employed by the community and responsible for giving legal aid without cost to any person who seeks it and is financially unable to employ private counsel. It is his duty to defend those accused of crime until the issue is decided in a court of law. Now, the Public Defender's Office is not only concerned with the practice of law, we are even more concerned about the rights of human beings. And to help one person in trouble, we often stick our necks out a long way. Yeah, the paper says it'll hit 93 tomorrow. I'll take you the money it's that right now. How do you keep so cold, Miss Janice? I use mirrors. Huh? Joke. Oh. How'd it go in court? Well, pretty rough. The sergeant here... Oh, I'm sorry, this is Sergeant Angel of the Robbery Division. Hi. My secretary, Miss Janice. Hello. You lost, I take it. Well, let's put it this way. The prosecution won. Public Defender's Office. Yes, he's here. It's for you. Oh, thanks. What about this Hello. Dunkirk call, Miss Jonas? Well, I don't know. He called three times. He wouldn't leave his name. Hold on a second. You want to go to the fights tomorrow night? Fights? At the Legion. Duke Shannon's trying to come back. Well, Good seats I... ringside. I hate to be a killjoy, but you're addressing the Hollywood Junior Chamber dinner tomorrow night, remember? Yeah, I knew there was something. I'm sorry, Jack. Another time, huh? Sure. No sale, Russick. See if one of the other boys can use it. Right, and tell the captain I'll be right over. And thanks. Thank you, miss. Sure you won't change your mind? Oh, I'm afraid not, Jack, as much as I'd like to. Well, you're the boss. Well, I've got to check in. I'm glad to have met you, Miss Janice. Nice to have met you, too. So long, Bart. Bye, Jack. Seems like a nice man, though, Sergeant. Yeah, he is. And he has a very charming wife and two nice kids. Oh. Hot, isn't it? Uh, would you get me that Dunkirk number? I'll take it in the office. Yes, sir, right away. Our factory. Buxford Arms. Two eleven. I'll see if he's in. Hello. I have Mr. Matthews for you. Hold on, please. Yes. I have your Dunkirk number on two. Oh, thanks. Hello, this is Bart Matthews. Oh, Mr. Mr. Matthews, I want to give myself up. Who is this? Uh, I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of running, and you've got to help me, Mr. Matthews. I'm sorry. I can't help you unless I know your name. This is Nobby Bullard. Nobby Bullard? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you remember two years ago you were my lawyer. I, uh, I slugged some guy. Oh, oh, yes, I remember. You were charged with assault with a deadly weapon because you were a fighter. Yeah. Well, you see, I, I couldn't get any fights here, and so I left town. You mean you broke probation? Well, I, I didn't mean no harm, Mr. Matthews. Oh, yeah, I know. They never do. Hold it, Nobby. Yes, sir? Hello, Miss Janice. Uh, would you call Fugitive and see if there's a warrant out on Nobby Bullard? Yes, sir, right away. Thanks. Hello, Nobby. You still there? Yeah. Hey, you, uh, you weren't calling the cops, were you, Mr. Matthews? No, definitely not. Now, let's have the whole story, huh? Well, like I said, I went up north, you know, where nobody would know me, and I got a couple of fights, you know, prelims. And, uh, it was anything to make a buck. Yes, I understand. Go on. Well, then I got hurt, and this doc, he said that I couldn't fight no more. He, he, he said I was sluggy. Yeah? Hey, uh, Jake, uh, this Roxy, was you asleep? No, I was taking a bubble bath. What do you want? I just thought you ought to know your investment is flipping his lip to the public defender. Oh, yeah? What's he saying? He says he's tired of running away, wants to give himself up. I told you the guy was nuts. He will be when I get through with him. Thanks, Roxy. I'll take care of you later. 
Well, that's okay. Just make it something small. I got a weak heart. Uh-huh. Oh, hold it, Abby. What did you find out? Well, there's a warrant out all right. And Captain Vaughn is just full of questions. You didn't tell him anything, did you? What do I know to tell? Good girl. Thanks. Well, Navi? Uh, Mr. Matthews, can I give myself up tonight? I, I, don't, I don't want any dead time. Now, uh, wait a minute, Navi. Didn't Judge Potter handle your case? Yeah. Y yeah, yeah. The, the, that was a guy. Well, he's away on vacation, Navi. He'll be back Monday. Now, he knows all about you. I think it would be wise if we were to wait and... Oh, no, no. I'm not going to sit in that the tank until Monday. I'll, I'll be away long enough as it is. Now, wait a minute, Navi. Listen to me and listen carefully. Now, you said you trust me. All right, then, trust me enough to hold off until tomorrow night. Now, I want you to meet me outside of the fight stadium tomorrow night. All right, Mr. Matthews. You can trust me. I won't let you down. Now, goodbye. Maybe he can trust you, but I can't, punk. You shouldn't have done that, Jake. You shouldn't shoot your mouth off. Well, I was talking to my lawyer, and I can talk to my lawyer if I want to. Sit down. Roxy? Jake? I thought you ought to know Nobby Boulard just moved. He didn't leave no forwarding address. Got it? So you're tired of running, huh? You want to give yourself up? Who told you? I got ears. What'd that Matthews ever do for you except get you six months on the honor farm and two years probation? Yeah, but he said... I don't care what he said. Look, I got a lot of dough wrapped up in you and you're gonna stick around and work it out. All right, now, suppose I don't want to. I'll tell you what, if you don't want to. Matthews will drag you into court and the judge will give you a year. This time in a pen. I don't care, Jake. I'm tired of running. Nobby, you didn't let me finish. I got a lot of friends up there that owe me a few favors. Now, you wouldn't like not to wake up some morning with a shiv stuck in your back, would you? No, but, but suppose I'm picked up by the police. You let Jake worry about that. But if I, if I don't show, Matthews will tell him where I am. Nobby boy, look, you're not thinking. Can you hear me tell Roxy you moved? Yeah. There's not a cop alive that can get by Roxy. Oh, and incidentally, neither can you. I'm not asking you to close your eyes on this case. All I'm asking is that you forget that a kid named Nobby Bullard even existed until Monday. Why Monday? Because that's when Judge Potter gets back from his vacation. He understands the problems in this case. How about that? But what has that got to do with our uh, picking him up right now? He didn't have to call me, Captain. But here's a scared kid that's trying to straighten himself out. Do the right thing. That's very touching, Bart. But how do we know the kid will show us promised? Well, if he had the nerve to call me in the first place, he'll have the nerve to meet me tomorrow night. Charlie, Captain Vaughn, you know that bullet case? Well, keep it on ice till the first of next week. Yeah, don't waste any time on it. Okay. Thanks, Captain. Don't thank me. All I know is that the kid don't show. It's your neck. Yeah. Hey, Roxy. Roxy! Will you answer the phone? 